the place card. All finished and ready for oh. reception. Thank you so much, Courtney. <laughs> You're welcome. You are You're so welcome. Terrific. Victor. Victor, I didn't oh. know you were here. Oh. oh. You certainly know how to welcome a man home. Did you find Lucy? Yes, Lucy is safe and sound. Oh, thank God. Where is she? Over at Scott. Do you think she's up to company? I'm sure she'd love to see you. Well, I'm going there right now. And I'd like to go see Eve. Victor, I'll catch up to you later. Oh, yeah. Victor, welcome home. I'm so glad to be here. Scott just called. He told me you found Lucy. Yes, mission accomplished. Oh, that's great. Well, we're very happy it worked out and relieved, but I'm most happy about being home with my darling. And our wedding plans. Shall we go for coffee? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Dresses tomorrow? Oh, dresses, right. Uh, uh, final fitting for bridesmaids' dresses at Wyndham's, uh, 4 o'clock. Yeah, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Okay. Um, I, I gotta get back to work. Did she seem okay? No. Not really. Hey, hey, they're springing me today. Yeah, that's the buzz. I'm glad I finally get my patients back before you do any further damage to no, them. No, play nice. I'm the one who has to sign you out. Um, Dr. Newman put a put a note in your chart. Um, because of the excess pain and the anemia, she did an additional procedure during your laparoscopy. Okay, what procedure? A hysteroscopy. Um, she she just wanted to make sure there were no fibroid tumors. And? No tumors. Great. How long ago did you have a baby? That doesn't matter. Eve, you know you can tell me anything. Chris. Hi. Hi, you're back. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Hey, when did you get back? Just now, just now. Uh, anything wrong? No, no. What could be wrong? You're back. Everything's fabulous. Don't, don't move a muscle. Okay, I am not going anywhere. What? Because this is the first decent night's sleep I got since you disappeared. <laughs> really? I couldn't sleep in that New York hotel room. I just stared up at the ceiling. I tried counting sheep. Nothing worked. I had to find you and bring you home. I am home where I belong, and I'm going to stay here. <laughs> Why did Bordiso keep you hidden? I mean, what was he up to? And I tell you something else. I found all kinds of files in his apartment, and you and me. What? And everything we've done. I mean, every little bad thing that we've done in our life. He also had pictures of my mother, Meg. Oh, my goodness, that's right. Meg, Meg, that was the name of a woman. He, he had this photograph in his cabin and the same woman, a photograph of her in his apartment named Meg. Well, did he say why he had these pictures? Uh, uh, he, he just, he mentioned something about that it was a woman that he, he loved uh, a long time ago. I figured that. It must have been before she met my father. They were all in Algeria at the same time. You know, Bordiso likes to keep secrets, but why would he give you that kind of information? I, I guess, um, he was just counting on the fact that I would never regain my memory and, and then never get a chance to tell you about it. Uh. Got a surprise for you. What? Gail's bringing Serena by before school. Serena? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Listen, Nick's name on the fact that you were missing. I, I, I didn't tell. I lied. I lied to her about oh, okay. that. Okay. Okay. Daddy, I missed you. Oh, I missed you a lot. Nice to meet you. Please, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, look at you. Oh, I missed you. I missed you so. 
Much! More than a gazillion, probably. More than that, even. <laughs> oh, Lucy. We're so glad you're home. Oh, boy, Gail, I am so very glad to be Don't home. Don't ever go where there's no phones again. No. I promise. I never, ever will. Ever, I swear. <laughs> Guess what? 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 I'm what? What? I'm going to be the flower girl at Mary and Victor's wedding. <gasps> so I need you to do my hair and everything. Everything. I will do it. Okay. Well, you know, we could do half up, half down. <gasps> oh, my goodness. You got your ears pierced finally. Grandma Gail let me do it, and Daddy says it was okay. Well, you know, I draw the line when it comes to tattoos, of course. Oh, <laughs> of course. Okay, you will be the fashion statement at that wedding. You'll look amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I love them. They look good. They're good. <laughs> you know, Serena really wanted to skip school today so she could spend the rest of the day with the two of you, but she has a rehearsal for the class play. Ooh. The show must go on. Oh, of course. The show must... Okay, but promise we'll catch up right after school, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Squeeze, squeeze, big squeeze, big, big squeeze. Okay, okay, go. No, come back. No, go. <laughs> <laughs> The shoe must go on, huh? See you later. Okay, yeah. thanks, Gail. I love you. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Lucy. Thanks. It was so wonderful to hold her in my arms like that. Whew. Nobody or anything is ever going to take you away from us again. Taking care of the patient, Dr. Chris. <laughs> Piece of cake. You all set? Almost. I'd like to discuss the chart we were examining when you're available. Sure. Anytime. Thanks. You ready? Yeah. You rock and I'll roll. Let's rock and roll. Karen. I was so sorry to hear about you and Joe. I bet you were. He, he told me what happened. You must have been devastated when you heard Joe was arrested with a hooker. Excuse me? Oh, uh, oh no, you didn't know? It, well, it wasn't exactly public knowledge, Courtney. Just answer one question. Was Joe arrested with a prostitute? Yes, he, he was. But if you want more information, you're just gonna have to ask Joe. Oh, I most certainly will. Mary, I didn't want to tell you this today. This is as good a time as any, I guess. Um, Joe and I are not getting married. We broke off the engagement. Excuse me. Hello, Scott. Hi. Lucy! Oh, oh well, honey, hi. you are sight for sore eyes. Oh. I was worried sick. <laughs> what happened? Oh, okay. Gee, I guess I have to give you the short version. Um, well, uh, I fell. I bumped my head. I lost my memory. I couldn't remember who I was. And then um, David Bordiso hid me in his apartment and told me I was somebody else. <sighs> what a creep. Well, have you seen a doctor? Uh, I'm looking at one now. Well, here, you sit down. Come oh, no, right oh, here. no. No, no, no. Oh, Good hold. grief, Daddy. Let's see. Oh. Let me see. Oh! Uh. Pupils are fine. Any memory loss since? No. Uh-huh. Any pain? No. Hmm. You're probably fine, but I wanted to get an MRI anyway. Okay. No. No, I mean, I'll get one eventually, but I, I just, today I want to stay home. I want to be with my family and my friends, and I want to catch up on everything I missed. You know, I can't miss anything, so tell me. <laughs> Did the Duke de Orleans get his wish? <sighs> what, what, what is it? What, what happened? Sebastian died during surgery. I'm sorry. We didn't know. I'm so sorry, Ellen. I'm very sorry. Oh, it, it was inevitable. It was just... Still a shock. Oh, I wish I could have been here. I should have been here with you. Oh, it's okay. Um, uh, I, I gotta go to Karen's. I gotta talk about the wedding and all that stuff. Okay, we're okay. Thanks. Catch you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Sorry. Thank you, Scott. 
I'm just, I'm completely at a loss here. You gotta tell me, is there anything, anything at all I can do for you right now? Oh, man, I really screwed up. <sighs> How did you screw up? Well, where do I start? Uh, you know that Matt broke up with me because I wanted to spend time with Sebastian? Yeah, um, but I, he was just very upset. Yeah, well, so was I. I was, I was devastated, and I realized just how much I loved Matt, and we were working on reconciling all that now. You know, Matt, Matt's great. He's really a terrific guy. I know, yeah. Oh, Lucy, I just don't know if we can, because while we were apart, I slept with Sebastian, and now every time I look at Matt, I just feel awful inside. Matt broke up with you, right? He broke up with you, so you, you don't have to feel guilty. But I do. I, I have to be honest with Matt. And I feel that when I am, I may lose him. Wait, 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 stop right there. When, wh what is this when thing? I have to tell him the truth. No, no, Ellen, you don't. Oh, Lucy, how can you say that? Look what happened to you and Kevin because you lied to him. You're right. I am very, very aware of what happened to me and Kevin when I lied to him. But you see, this is totally different. Kevin asked me straight to my face if I had anything to do with Serena's accident. And I looked right back into his face. And I lied, and I told him, no, so that was a lie for the wrong reasons. Wrong. This is different. You, you don't go out of your way to purposely hurt somebody. You don't volunteer that kind of information. You have to just stop, give yourself a break, because you're only human, and then not tell Matt, because not telling Matt is what's best for him. I have to run these down to the lab. I'll be back in five. Okay, see you then. Bye. Oh, Joe! Karen told me the engagement's off. It's a long story, Mom. Is what she said true? Were you arrested with a prostitute? She told you that? Yes, is it true? No, it was a mistake. Look, this woman gave me a sob story about needing money, so I gave her some. And this undercover cop witnessed the exchange. It turns out she was a prostitute, and we both got busted. Oh, I knew it was something like that. You'd never be involved in anything so silly. Well, I'm glad to see that somebody believes me. Karen didn't? No. No, she actually thinks that I propositioned that hooker. Well, I had my misgivings about Karen, but I never wanted you to break up. Well, she doesn't trust me, Mom. No trust, no marriage. I just think it is so strange that D.V allowed Lucy to call herself Eve. It gives me the willies. What do you think about that? Well, I spoke to the guy, and in psychiatric terms, he's a sicko. Uh, yeah. Can Lucy press charges? Can't prove anything. People observed her content in DV's home. DV, on the other hand, can charge Scott with stealing his plane. Oh, I wouldn't put it past him for a second. You're tired, aren't you? That's why you're so quiet in the car. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was quiet. Well, why don't you put your head right here? Close your eyes. Mm-hmm. And wander off to dreamland. That's the best offer I've had all day. Is anybody home? Home, sweet home? <laughs> Victor! Victor! Oh. Welcome back. Eve. Well, I must say you look fit as a fiddle. Thank you very much. Apparently, I am back just in the nick of time. I've been scheduled in one hour for a meeting with the parish priest who's performing our wedding ceremony. So that just leaves me precisely enough time to squeeze in a practice session on my accordion. Kidding. Oh. <laughs> I got to oh, you did. Well, What I'm actually going to do is take a nap. <laughs> did I really just say... Squeeze in some practice on my accordion. Oh. <laughs> I must remember to share that with the nearly Mrs. Collins. The puns are falling like pine cones from a fruitful old tree. <laughs> now, as I was saying. Yes. Almost alone. Uh, at last. How are you? Well, I'm pretty good. Good. How's Lucy? Lucy is fine. She's visiting with Alan. They're catching up, you know? Yeah. Well, that's good, because Ellen could, she could use a friend right now. So could I, for that matter. 
Would just you like a second. Some... Wait a second. What's going on here with you? Uh, Joe and I, we split up. What happened? Look, I know you do anything for me. I do. Just promise me you won't go and confront him, okay? I'm not going to promise anything until I know what's going on, Scott. Karen. Come here. Come, come here. He... Joe mm, misrepresented himself. And I, I can't trust him anymore. What did he do? Let's just say that he lied to me and we'll leave it at that, okay? I mean, it's not just one lie, actually. It's just a whole bunch of things, and... It's like I don't even know who he is anymore. I feel bad for you. Come here. I thought I'd finally gotten it right this time. How could I have been so wrong about somebody? Again. I'm on break. I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to do this face to face. Okay. If you don't believe me about the hooker, that is your problem, all right? But do not start spreading lies to other people, especially my own mother. Mary walked into a conversation she overheard, thanks to Courtney. But what are you even doing discussing this with Courtney? Courtney told me that you told her what this happened. This is nobody's business, all right, Karen? Do you understand that? You don't believe me? You made that clear. But do not spread lies to other people about me based on your paranoia. About that matter we discussed earlier? Yeah? I would like you to remove that information from my chart. You got it right here. Don't worry, Eve. It's taken care of. Your secret is safe with me. Uh, gotta go. Bye-bye. Who was that? Oh, that was Chris being a good doctor checking up on his patient. Dr. Ramsey, 
can't believe it. I can't understand what they're going through right now. Losing their family like that. Oh, Scott, I don't want to do that. I can't do that anymore. You know, Serena's what brought me back. You know, when I heard her name, I knew I had to come back. And when I saw you, I knew I was whole again because she, you and Serena, you're my whole family. I, I can't lose you again. Do you understand that? I want to just be with you. And do you know what I wish more than anything in the whole world? What? I, I want us to be a whole family. I want us never to be apart again. And I wish, I, I wish I could just have your baby. You, you know. Tonight, there are only two new home improvements left, and from here on, everything changes. One marries, one suffers a loss, and the rest prepare to say goodbye on a special one-hour home improvement, followed by Spin City, ABC Tonight. <laughs>